My name is Derek Nelson. With no big camera crews following us around, I am joined only by my wife, Caroline. The two of us recently quit our jobs to travel around the world. When I say quit our jobs, I mean that we sensibly found other means of employment to come back to. And when I say around the world, I mean only Southeast Asia and parts of Australia. Raw. It's actually not bad. Badly filmed. These are our travel adventures. First stop on our trip, the wild west of the east. We had two days in Cambodia and we decided to spend them in Siem Reap, home of Angkor Wat. Cambodia is not a pretty country. It was dirty and rough, but its beauty doesn't lie on the surface. If you look closer, you'll discover it lies within its people. The kids walking a mile to school in the morning, the local shopkeepers selling handmade goods. Cambodia is filled with some of the nicest people the planet has to offer. And through their dark history, they have come out on the other side ready to rebuild. The only reason we decided to stop here was to see the temples of Angkor Wat. And boy, did they not disappoint. A sprawling complex of temples, it used to be the seat of power for this part of the world. And now, it's the calling card of Cambodia. And for good reason, it's worth every penny you pay to get in here. Apart from the temples, Siem Reap has some great markets. From local wares to souvenirs and fried delicacies. It's fraud, fried fraud. It's actually not bad. The markets of Siem Reap have everything. So would we go back? <laughs> yeah, in a heartbeat. While Siem Reap didn't have the beautiful landscapes of Thailand, or the beaches of Indonesia, it made up for it in the kindness of the people and the richness of their culture. Next stop, Thailand. Although it neighbors Cambodia, it's a completely different world. <laughs> 